Welcome back to another grocery haul. This is a big one because um, I went to the butcher and stocked up for like at least a month for most of my meat. So I have a lot of chicken so and a few other things for the pantry. So as always, we'll start with the produce. I have some parsnips and some carrots. I'm going to use those tomorrow with some potatoes and some pork chops for a meal. I have some ginger for some stir fries, some broccoli just to have on hand, and I have some Brussels sprouts that I'm going to have with a meal later in the week, I think with some stuffed chicken breast. And I have some sauerkraut for, I think, Wednesday, that I'm going to have with some bacon and some other veggies. Uh, I have some limes and some lemons. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to make a, a roasted salsa. And I also want to have some on hand. I have lime juice in the freezer, but sometimes I just uh, like having some fresh. Some apples for snacking. Um, potatoes uh, for tomorrow and maybe later in the week. And otherwise I'll just save that for another time. Some cherry tomatoes for a roasted salsa. And that's also why I've got a lot of chilies and for some uh, other things as well. Some peppers. I'm going to do stuffed peppers one day. And I'll have some uh, peppers in a taco and for some stir fry some other potatoes to go with the sauerkraut like these baby ones some onions to have on hand and these small onions i still have some but i got some more those are also going to go in the roasted salsa and some spring onions just for some garnish and then i have some grapes just for snacking so produce this week came down to 24 euros and 11 cents then we have a lot of meat and dairy. Um, it's cheaper to buy uh, chicken tenders here. And this was also a good sale because normally when I buy it in bulk, uh, it's partly because it's cheaper, but also because it saves on packaging. But in this case, it didn't because the smaller packs were uh, the lowest unit price. Normally, it's the other way around. So um, I use a lot of chicken. And since most of it's going to get chopped in smaller pieces for stir fries, tacos, that kind of stuff, um, I don't mind if it's tenders or whole breasts, so I pick whichever's cheapest. Uh, I do want to do things like a stuffed uh, chicken breast, so I got some whole breasts as well. And I got some thighs. Uh, so that's all gonna go mostly in the freezer, and that will last me probably like four to six weeks. Some drumsticks, part of it is gonna go in the freezer, and part I'm gonna have with the sauerkraut. Then here I have some uh, meat replacement, some uh, uh, fake beef for tacos on Monday because I do meatless Mondays some tuna for the freezer some sea uh, bass and sea bream for the freezer uh, one of them I'm going to use on Friday for a, a rice bowl I think I got two little packs of venison that I'm going to make some uh, venison jerky with I got some uh, grated cheese usually I grate my own but I only needed a little bit so just got that. I didn't want to buy a whole block. And then I have some roast beef for uh, sandwiches for lunch tomorrow. And then some pork chops. One I'm going to use tomorrow, I think. And the rest is going to go in the freezer. And then I have some uh, roquefort or smoked sausage. That's got, just going to go in the pantry. That's pantry stay, uh, like uh, shelf stable. So that's all the meat and meat replacement and fish. That comes down to... 65 euros and 12 cents, but keep in mind that's for like most of the week. I will buy some some other meat uh, During the week or during the month, but the majority will be chicken And then we have everything else. I'm almost out of Himalayan salt for my salt grinder. So I bought a thing of that uh, Yesterday I used my last zero carb rice. So I got a new one just to keep in stock I got some more of that um, sugar-free syrup that I use for drinks um, then I got some uh, pickle slices because they were on sale and I like having those on hand for things like burgers uh, I got some garlic powder because I ran out I have one bag of chips for the week I got some uh, potato wedges maybe for uh, with the sauerkraut oh, I'll just use those or I just like having that on hand especially when my nephew is uh, around he's not with me today but usually when he's here, we'll have some fries or something like that. Uh, that's what I'm going to have for 
uh, lunch today, a picanto, which is like a kind of like a sausage in the deep fryer or air fryer. I'm going to air fry it and I'm just going to have that on some uh, some rolls. Um, speaking of rolls here for the picanto and the roast beef tomorrow, my two bars of chocolate a week. They didn't have the one with hazelnuts this time, so I just got the regular milk chocolate. And then a whole bunch of tacos and tortillas because they were on sale and I was out completely. I do Taco Tuesdays. So I use them quite regularly. So I have some uh, two packs of taco shells. I got two packs of mini tortillas, two of the regular size tortillas, and then uh, one with uh, made with carrot partly, so 35% carrot, and one with 35% beet. So it's mostly the color. They don't really taste that much different, but I like having the different colors. So that will stock up my pantry for a bit. For a couple of weeks at least so so all of that came to 32 euros and 80 cents but again that's going to last me for way more than the week and the grand total was 122 euros and three cents or converted into dollars that's 129 dollars and 74 cents so that's a, a really big haul probably my biggest haul so far but yeah this will last me a while so if you like this, I do this every Saturday. Usually my hauls are a little bit smaller than this because I'm just by myself. Um, and if you like to see what I do with all of this, uh, every Sunday I do a Sunday prep day video where I prepare all my veggies and other things uh, for the week. So uh, there's a playlist at the end if you like my shopping hauls and want to see what I get throughout the year. And yeah, maybe leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.